Howdy. I've noticed from the engagement that a lot of you want to know about anti detect browsers and proxies just as much as OnlyFans management or marketing on dating apps, which is another big topic. So I figured I'll do more videos showing you guys about the different anti detect browsers, different proxies, how to set them up, what to use, what not to use, etc. So on this journey, I will show you Smart Proxy. A couple of videos ago, I showed you how to set up an incognito browser profile with a proxy from a provider called Proxy Cheap. Ah, their proxies are kind of dog shit, but you can get some good ones. Anyway, I showed you how to do that. So if you haven't seen that, I would suggest go watching that, especially if you don't know about Incognitron. And in this video, I'm going to show you Smart Proxy. Why Smart Proxy? Because I forgot that I used them a long time ago and they went ahead and sent me an email to my personal email address. And I thought, hey, let's check it out. So we'll check it out together, all right? They sent me an email saying, got some exciting news. We've launched a proxy checker. It allows you to test a list of proxies on your computer by simply copying and pasting the connection, blah, blah, blah. My first thought was, well, that's funny because Scamalytics already does the same thing. Now in Scamalytics, unless there is a way, I don't think you can paste multiple IP addresses in there and check them all at the same time, but why would you want to? But anyway, I thought, hey, let's check it out, all right? So upon opening it, first of all, I'm like, well, this looks overly complicated. So it's a proxy checker. Oh yeah, so you can get proxies from their website. Import a proxy list. Okay, so you purchase them first and then you import it. So after you've already purchased them, you're stuck with them either way and then you check the quality. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, all right, so, or you can just enter one proxy at a time. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go purchase a proxy from Smart Proxy. Just a heads up, I haven't used this in a little while, so we'll go purchase one and we'll learn together, all right? Now, so get proxies, all right, all right. Internet service provider proxies, pricing, okay. So if you haven't seen my other videos, you'll know that you should always purchase a static residential proxy, assuming that you're using it for, you know, like Reddit or OnlyFans or something like that. If you are planning on using a proxy for dating apps, which is a whole different board game altogether, then you have to use mobile proxies. But I don't create dating apps using that method. I use iPhones. I'm just saying, unless it's for dating apps, then always get a static residential. You can use mobile proxies if you want, but it'll just be unnecessarily expensive if you're just using it for like Reddit or something like that. All right, so this already looks pretty complicated. Um, so, what? All right, so you can purchase mobile proxies here. Okay, see, so that's $68 for what? Price per gig. All oh, right, so you pay per, yeah, all right. Uh, okay, is there like an easier way to do this? Yeah, so you never purchase data center. All right, scraping. Look, I might just call this a day and just tell them, tell you guys that it's not worth fucking going on this website. So if you, look, if you work at Smart Proxy, don't bother emailing me asking if I want to partner, all right, with my YouTube channel, because look, I can't even figure this shit out, so. All right, so we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Residential proxy, okay, let's try this again. So, pricing, yeah. Look, pricing doesn't matter. I just wanna fucking purchase one, all right? So, endpoint generator, whitelisted IP. No, you always want username and password because that's how you use it with the, what? What? Dashboard, all right, here we go, get proxies. Okay, we're on our way, we're on our way, we're on our way. Oh, ISP proxies, dedicate. Oh, that makes sense, that makes sense, all right, we get. What? Oh, you buy a bunch at once. Four, five, 10 IPs. Bruh, I just want one proxy to test it out, bruh. What the? All right, well, this video is gonna be a little different today. This video has just turned into, uh, you know what? Don't even bother using these guys. Proxy cheap. Okay, let me give you an example of how easy it should be, all right? So you get order proxy. See, you choose proxy type. So as I said, you want static residential. You don't want rotating residential because houses don't normally bounce around. And when platforms see that proxy and it's bouncing around, they're like, mm, that's odd. Um, let's flag it. See, there's mobile. See, this is how easy it should be. And then you go select it. And then you go ahead and purchase it. So, all right. So, yeah. So moral of this video don't bother with smart proxy. Lucky I've rehearsed this before I started recording, eh? So look, that's just overly complicated, especially if you're new to this. Don't go dropping 75 bucks on what, like 10 proxies when you don't even know what they are. So anyway, so we'll scrap that. And to be honest, this whole IP checker didn't look any good anyway. So, all right. So this video has just turned into, you know what? Don't bother with smart proxy. And that's it. So it turns out that after all that, 
I kind of have just wasted your time in this video, but at least we learned something today. Don't use smart proxy, that's fucking too complicated. Anyway, so as usual, if you like the video, go smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. And if you wanna know more knowledge and you want some source on dating apps and how to create and grow a successful anti-fan management agency, then you can find me in my Discord and the forum and I'll get you on your way because there is a shitload of value in there. So anyway, go like, go subscribe and I'll see you in the Discord, baby.